Nothing wrong, preacher, with what I do. It's none of nobody's business. Listen, it is people's business. Because the way AIDS came to this country was a man that came from another country, France, I believe it was, and he came here specific, specifically knowing that he had AIDS, and he came here to give it to as many people as he possibly could before he died. That's how evil, there was death in that pot. There's many people probably enjoyed the pleasure of sin for a season with him. They enjoyed the pleasure of sin just for a moment. And then later on, went to the doctor and found out there's no hope for you because there's no cure for what you've got. Friend, tonight I want you to tell you something. There is one disease there's a cure for. That is sin, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. There's one disease there's a cure for, and that is Jesus Christ, the Son of a living God. As we get a song tonight, praise the Lord and come to sing, I want you to know when you go out tomorrow, there will be things out there, and you know it, some of you here, some of you haven't been saved very long, but I'm going to tell you, you're going to find things to drag you back. They're going, God, the devil's going to tell you you don't need to go to church. Listen, the closer you are to church and the people of God, the warmer you're going to feel in your heart. When I was a child at home, we had an old fireplace. And in the fall of the year and in the spring, before we put up the stove and after we took it down, if it got cool, we'd build a fire in that fireplace. My dad would build a fire and have a fireplace. All the heat went up the chimney, but nevertheless, it looked good. And I would watch and sometimes those hot coals, red, hot as they could be, but they would pop. And when they popped, they'd fall out on the hearth in front. And you couldn't touch it for a second. But just in about a minute, in about a minute's time or so, you could pick it up because it had gotten cold. You know why? Because it didn't stay in the heat. If you really want to go to heaven, and the best thing you can do for your salvation, and I mean really get an experience that where you get blessed, where you look forward to going to church, where you don't want to miss, where... You want to be with the people of God. You'll love the singing better. You'll love the preaching better, even if I am doing it. It's just greater that way, you know. And, but if you break away from that fire and that heat, it won't be long until the devil can pick you up and put you in that pot of death. So that's why I followed the Lord. I love church. I love God. I love the Word of God. There, there is more heat in this book right here. More and more for a Christian and in anything. You say, Pastor, I don't understand it. Keep reading it and God will reveal to you. Amen. I've read this book through and uh, I know every year since 1992. And I'm way up in it now. Every year. But every time I go through that book, I find something different and God will flash it out to me. You don't learn it all in the kindergarten. Jack's in kindergarten. Landon's in the third grade. Well, Landon knows things Jack don't, but Jack has got to go on to the third grade. Now, Landon just said, well, I like kindergarten. I'll just stay here. <laughs> no, he's got to go on to first grade next year. So there's something else to learn. You know, don't just get in that one place and park and say, I don't need any more. You need everything you can get when we come in the presence of a holy God. Amen. Amen. I'm glad tonight there's meal in that pot of death. The giant looked at David and said, you little old skinny fellow, you look, you're, you're crazy as you can be. And David, there was death in the pot. The giant didn't know it. But after in a few minutes, there's going to be a stone hit him. He's going to be wallowing around there on the ground. David's going to cut his head off. See, there was death in the pot. These people get on television with their comedies and so on that blaspheme God, make fun of God, take God's name in vain. And when they promote these lifestyles that are filthy. They laugh and their audience laughs and they have a big time. But I want you to know there's death in that pot. There's death in that pot. But thank God if they just turn to the Lord, God has a meal to bring them out of that. And he has some. Amen. And, and he can do it for everybody. Thank God for the meal in the pot. Well, let us stand and sing tonight. God bless you. We appreciate you.